Sorry for you, crackheads. Uh, <laughs> Stay Motivated Podcast. Season 3, Episode 1. It's your boy, your host, your dog, Terry, a.k.a. Tobin Frost, a.k.a. Young Denzel Washington, a.k.a. Mr. Pop That Champagne for My Pain. <laughs> I got a legend, superstar, entrepreneur, grown man, grown ass man on the podcast today, my boy E and J. Hey man, tell the people who you are, where to find you at, man. We're gonna get the rock and the rolling home, boy. Name's Ian Jackson, um, owner of E and J Photography, and y'all can find me on Instagram. Y'all can go to my website, E and J, no brandy. Underscore, excuse me, ENJ underscore no brandy on yeah. Instagram. The website is ENJ Photography, and that's all spelled I A N J Photography.com. Let's get it. Boy, 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 boy. <laughs> hey, appreciate you rocking with me, man. You know what I'm saying? We had to take a little break and we had to come back rejuvenated. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know how we, we, we back. Yeah, you know how we do. You know what I'm saying? We had to come back. You know what I'm saying? Throw, throw that drip on them. So, um, Question number one: What what, what an idea and the passion come from with the with the E and J photography? Well, you know I'm left handed, so uh oh, I'm already a little, <laughs> Let's get little it. artist. <laughs> nah, Let's but, get it. Nah, it all started um, back in 2016. Um, I think the hype of the moment was just everybody was doing photography, and you know, a whole lot of graduation photo shoots. A um, whole lot of, you know, fashion photo shoots. Right. And people were just making quick money up off of it. So, honestly, I followed the trend. Um, I had a couple couple hundred saved up. So, I went and got a camera. Did your thing. And investment. Started, a small investment. And started taking pictures of, like, my friends and, you know, just putting them out there and putting my little bit of edits to the photos. But, honestly, after a while... I kind of put the camera down. Just wasn't motivated behind it. Um, but I don't know. Somebody somebody hit me up, asked for a photo shoot, and next thing you know, got back to rolling. Got that spark. Yep, got that That's spark. That's all it takes. So I'll go in a little bit more detail in a little bit. Though. Yeah, so sometimes, yeah. I, sometimes all you need is that, that spark plug. That's, mm-hmm. all, that's all the ride needs. Yep. <laughs> yep. Ride good. You just need a spark plug real yep. quick to get it, you know what I'm saying, get it jumping, get it rolling. Mm-hmm. That's cool, man. So, um, you got started, right? You, mm-hmm. What I like what you said was you saved up a couple hundred yeah. to, to get that camera. So, message to all y'all out there. Sometimes you got to save. You got to sacrifice. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can't just, you just can't wake up and think life's going to happen. Sometimes you got you to gotta make sacrifices and investments for your future. So, with that being said, what's your favorite Shoot you done I've seen you done a lot You yeah. done some for me For my non-profit mm-hmm. I've seen you do some weddings Some graduations Baby pictures what, What's been your favorite Photo shoot to do? So To You know Go back on what I was saying As far as like I kind of lost my motivation And I finally found that spark So um, I was doing photography Just as like a little side hustle right. And I wasn't really like Taking it serious Right Um but an old client of mine, he hit me up to do his maternity photos. Mm. So when he hit me up about it, I was just like, eh, you know, I'll, I'll do it. But 
whatever. It wasn't until I actually took the photos and seen the art behind it to where I actually took more time to study on photography, took more time to study on the, the edits. So I would say the maternity shoot is definitely my favorite that's one because cool. that's what kind of brought me back to life. Right. You know? When they about to give life. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> man, that's cold, man. Yeah, man. And, and that's kind Shout of... Shout out to my boys, though. That's kind of... Uh, that's kind of how life goes. Like, you, you be passionate about something, and then when things don't, you know what I'm saying, you, your vision don't come in fruition, you kind of lose that that passion, that yeah. focus. Yeah. And then it's something that rekindled that flame. Yeah. Like and my, it, honestly, what rekindled the flame was just, like, the art behind it. You know? Right. Like, just taking the time to study YouTube videos, study on how to do certain edits, how right. to make certain images sharper and everything. Like like I said, I, was, I wasn't playing while I said I'm left-handed and I'm kind of artistic. I guess that's the, the stereotype of left-handed people. I'm left-handed too. So, you already know. So. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm left-handed too. So, you already know. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, hey, that's, that's real. So, I don't know. Just, it caught my eye and it kind of, you know, like you said, brought me back to life with the, the business and now I'm just taking it a whole lot more serious. But not because... It's just a photography business. It's something that I actually have some passion behind. Right. You know? So. Always got to have that passion, man. Like, your passion can die out when not just things in your passion not going right, but things outside, just real life situations. And I think that's what took me away from it the first time because it was a period. So it was from 2016 when I started it and then roughly around late 2017. That's when I kind of like just chilled out. But the photo shoot, the maternity photo shoot took place in 2019. And I haven't took any photos pretty much a year and some change. Right. So that kind of just gave me the motivation to, you know, Get back keep going. And, yeah. Keep going. Straight up. Mm -hmm. I ain't mad at that. So have you had any, um, so you, you said the maternity photo shoot. Re rekindled that flame. Yeah. So you had any others since then? I've had several. Um, I just recently did um, a photo shoot for uh, a couple of pageant queens. Uh oh. Um, uh, I had another photo shoot for um, a couple maternity photos. Um, what else, man? The list goes on. Honestly, just my portfolio has just grown ever since Lit, that first huh? maternity photo shoot, where it's like I can't even really think of everything I've done. But I've done, done um, I recently did a protest. Uptown Charlotte. Um, uh, rest in peace to, you know, George Floyd. Believe that. Yeah. Um, it was one of the protests that took place after that. And, you know, just to capture that moment and just to capture the, the passion of everybody that was out there, you know, that was more inspiring for me to keep going with the photography as well. Straight up. You know, we're talking about a protest with, you know, not just black people out there, a large percentage of white people. All out kind there. of people out there. Yeah, man, just all marching for the the same cause. Right. So it was just refreshing to capture that moment in right. real time, you know. And which I feel as though is a historic photo shoot that's going to go down for years and years to come. Especially during the times we we're currently living in. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, it's that, rough out it, here, man. Yeah, that's that's major. That that that's major. Like, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. major. We're, we could take this conversation a whole different way, but we not. And we'll be here an hour long. <laughs> hour? <laughs> Two hours, three hours. <laughs> three days. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that being said, what's your... I won't say what's your least favorite um, photo shoot because that'd be like pinpointing the customer. What's your least favorite thing about the business? Um, it's not really a least favorite thing. I think it's just putting the time aside for everything, which gets frustrating because, you know, I am still working a full-time job. I am still, uh, uh, you know, working on a clothing line as well. Right. So I'm just I got my hands in several different, you know, areas, and it's just the time that I really want to put towards the photography, that's the most frustrating thing because I'm losing sleep about it. But right. I love it. So Straight I'm going to keep on doing it. Keep so, hunting. Yeah. So Straight up. It's nothing really that I hate about, you know, doing the photography. It's just, you know, 
Just got the time, the time, the time, yeah. time, the time consuming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I but know sometimes. it's worth it. It's huh. worth it when I get a customer to say, "I love my photos, man." All the time that I put in towards the edits and that's that you know, appreciation, man. It's indescribable, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I I like it when I. Whenever I reach out to you and you're like, I'm like, hey, come hang out. Hey, I can't, man. I got I got to mix down some photos. I got some photos I got to. Yeah. I, I love hearing that. I'm like. Trying to stay busy. Yeah. And the boss grinding right now. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. That's cool, man. Yeah. So, um, what's your advice to anybody trying to get in, get in the photography game? Anybody trying to take that path, what's your advice? Uh, my advice would be to don't rush it, like just because you see everybody doing it and right. you know trying to follow the trend because that's what I fell victim of, right? Um, and I just lost motivation behind that. I right. was chasing a dollar rather than actually chasing something that's I'm passionate about. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, that's that's real. It's like if you really want to do it, do it, right? Stick with it and study the craft. You feel me? Like study the craft. Study YouTube University is the the best that you can go to, man. <laughs> Y'all heard I'm telling it. You. YouTube University. Man, anything you need to know about taking photos, editing photos, what type of camera you need. Right. All that. So I'm telling you, just take the time to, you know, really learn the craft if it's something that you truly want to do and not just do it for a short term period. Right. Yeah. And when it comes to that that business. It's like the stuff that I see you do. I'm like, man, that's that's solid. I think and I appreciate some, that, bro. I, I, think, I really appreciate that. Yo, I think some people do it for different purposes. Mm-hmm. I ain't trying to knock nobody, but you know, and I, I, I ain't I, gonna knock nobody either because I was one of those people. Yo, but it, it's, people. it's like whenever you all you doing is doing photo shoots of of, of models. It's kind of like. Eh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, yeah. What else you do? You know, when, when, and I could be viewing it wrong, but you know, whenever I look up, I'm like, oh, all I see is half naked women on your mm-hmm. on your face. Like, what's your what's really your end goal? You, is, is that your your only target, or you love being a photographer? You see and what the, I'm saying? The, the good thing about photography is that can't be that person's niche. You know what I'm saying? If they find that's what works for them, right. they just may stick to doing, you know, models. They may just stick to doing, um, you know, graduation photos. They may just stick to doing, I don't, I don't know, um, shoot, clothing. Like, clothing, you know, yeah. it, it it really all just depends on the person. If they want to be versatile, they can. Right. If not, You're versatile, you versatile, know, I can tell you that. Yeah, I, yeah. I try to be, man. I try to mix, <laughs> mix up. it up. Straight up. Try to touch everybody. So. Ain't that, hey, nothing wrong with that. I promise you that. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? So what's what's next for E&J Photos? Uh, what's next, man? Just honestly keep booking. Yeah. You know, uh, I invite anybody who hasn't seen my work to definitely check out, you know, my website, um, enjphotography.com. So you can, you know, take a look at my portfolio and, you know, if you need some family photos, you got an event coming up, you got, you know, a business you need to promote, you know, I'm your guy. <laughs> you feel me? I love it. Y'all heard it. So. Business, cookouts, barbecues, coronavirus events, whatever you want. <laughs> and, and listen. <laughs> Whatever y'all Please want to make do. note that I am there during this pandemic. I am there with a mask and gloves on, just not for your safety, but for mine. Right. You know. So. And that's cute. I know I'm, we're laughing about it, but that's really key. Yeah, man. I don't. I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable because we are still going through a pandemic, um, which is wild. Which is wild. Um, and you know, we do have to take take it serious. So, you know, I still want to do business. So, for any of my clients, you know, just understand that, you know, you're in good hands. Straight up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody in good hand when they when they around Ian Jackson. Mm, man, don't yeah. gas me up, Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Go, yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you do get gassed up. <laughs> you get 93 gas, dog. <laughs> For real, man. For real. So, um, yeah. Ian, what's the website again? So, the website um, is I A N 
jphotography.com. Um, and y'all can follow me on Instagram at I A N J Photos, P H O T O S underscore on Instagram. Man. That's major. Twitter account coming soon. I'm working on that Facebook. I'm coming soon. Man, but it, in the it, meantime, y'all it, checking it, it, it out. That Twitter's so platforms. hard, man. Like, I, I don't know about that, but I can't sit back and tweet all day. I can't, but if the president can, which that's a whole nother well, conversation, I need to drop in on Twitter every now and then. He ain't doing much. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, just got country. my take. I'm gonna be quiet. Though. I can be nah. You can say whatever you want. This our podcast episode. Right, say say less, whatever man. you want. Say less. You know I don't. Yeah, man. So it's yeah. It's, it's Twitter is a whole different monster, man. Yeah. But and um, I think Instagram is is good because you know it's strictly made for pictures. Right. So for my line of business, I mean, it works. You hand fall hand. right in line. Mm-hmm. So yeah. this is what I say. To everybody out there, you hear you you hear E and J's his passion, where it come from, his future, his goals. Start thinking about the people you want to be involved with and the people you want to do business with. Yeah. So it's easy to follow a trend. Yeah. But it's harder to follow good people with solid stuff. Everybody follow the trend. Oh, oh, hey, oh, he he get he getting money. Oh, he he's 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 on the yacht with with with, with this person, this celebrity. Oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get some pictures about this guy. Hey, come on, man. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, be solid and that's be what, solid and, and, and know what you're worth and know what you're you're working with. Straight up, you feel me? So like, if you know your passion is, I don't know, cooking. Perfect that craft. Whip it up. Whip it up. Research. Like you said, I, the thing I like about what you said was, at first you was just, you know, doing your thing, yeah. and taking pictures, just following the, the... Then you said you started researching. You started YouTubing. Yeah. You and, gotta you gotta know yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. And I know for me, like, with the, the comeback shoot, which was the maternity shoot, that was one of those shoots where it's like, okay... I really did my thing on this and I want to make sure that I continue doing my thing on this. So it's like, that's where the passion to continue to, you know, learn the craft of photography and really put my own spin on it right. to keep more customers coming back. Straight up. Yeah, man. So, so let me ask you a question. You willing to travel out of town? I'm willing to travel wherever. Man. Y'all heard it's, it. It's, Y'all heard it. It's, it's, travel, it's travel expenses that will be calculated into, you know, the final price of Straight everything. Up. But, you know, I'm willing to travel. I've been in Charlotte too long, especially during this pandemic. So, <laughs> hey, why do that yard? That's called a, a grinding yard. I heard that. Um, what I want everybody to get from this is, so support your folks, man. Like, I'm going to be honest. Yesterday, I'm scrolling through. Well, let's start with today. Mm. Today, I got me a high learning shirt. I see. You know it. what I'm saying? Goes, yeah. I see it. Uh, yes, sir. I spend that bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just spend that bread, right? Mm-hmm. So, yesterday I'm scrolling through IG, and his name is Three, Young Ass Dub. You no. Know, okay. Probably one of the most popular artists to ever come out of Charlotte. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Him and the baby, probably the most well known artist out of Charlotte. He has a clothing line called For Life. That's just his his little niche, you know what I'm saying, from his career that he's doing. For life. So he, he posts some some um some sandals on that joint, you know what I'm saying? Like three different colors. This is what I'm doing. I hit him like, yo, I need to cop something. Like I I need that. Mm-hmm. So he hit me like, yo. It's a limited edition. I got 60 pair coming in. They're $50 a pair. Average person? Oh, $50. Can't hook me up, dog. Like, you know, yeah. you know what I did? Fifty. What's your cash up? Yeah, bro. Got your cash up? Boom. I seen it right there. I'm not waiting. I seen it right then and there. I want to know, like, me... That's how I want to be known. I want to be known as somebody that's solid 
and support my folks. Right. I can go spend fifty dollars on liquor at any moment. Mm-hmm. I can go. I can go get the the forty one dollar bottle of Hennessy. It's sad that I know how much it costs. <laughs> that's that's including tax. I can go get the forty one dollar bottle of Hennessy and some and a and a bottle of Crown for seventy combined. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can go. I can go buy the big bottle of Hennessy for ninety. I go buy the big ball of crown for fifty six, mm-hmm. but I can't support my folks. Yeah, and I mean, so uh, you know, I, I I made that a a strategy because he probably thinking like once I tell him, when I tell him it's fifty, he probably gonna be like fifty for some slippers. Like nah, I said oh, I'm gonna uh, uh, spend fifty on some Balenciagos. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean uh, 950. Yeah, you, you make time and, you know, you put forth the effort for the stuff that you want. Straight up. You know, so if you truly want to support somebody, you'll definitely, you know, if it's $50 and you ain't got it at the time, you'll, you'll save us some bread. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Everything is about your effort towards, and, and, and not to get too deep into other stuff, but your effort means everything. For sure. Because your effort... I tell every pe- people this all the time. This is what I learned from Ray Lewis the Great, 52. His, his quote, effort between you and you. How much effort you put towards that photography is between you and yourself. Yep. So when you say, at first, you did it because of that, but then you're like, oh, I'm about to do my research. And I want to dig into how good I could perfect my craft. That's your effort. That ain't got nothing to do with nobody else but you. So NJ Photos has 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 increased their fan base, their customer service because of your effort. Yeah, and people that's people respect that, man. Straight I up. respect it. Like I I respect any person that's you know going through the trenches just to get their point across or just to get what they have as far as a product right. out there to the people. Straight up. You know I'm willing to support that because I mean shoot, I I've been there. Right. So. People, people respect that, man. And I think, you know, and I say this as humble as possible. I think what, I, what I'm doing is definitely what, what people want. You know, I think, you know, just the, the, the edits, I think, you know, just the, the customer service. I'm willing to talk to anybody. I'll come out to you. You know, we can talk about how you want to do it. All that, you know, it... it it results into the respect aspect of who you're dealing with when it comes to business. Right. You know? So let me ask you a question. Because <laughs> what you just said was just, it was just real, authentic. Yeah. You ain't on, nothing you ever said was about getting to a, a certain level. Right. Every, and everything my, my you pipe... said was, was about <laughs> yeah. building who you are. Yeah. Building that foundation. And my price comes with that. And that's that's the thing, like, I'm not out here hitting people over the head, but it's just I'm passionate about my stuff. And, you know, if this is what you want, you know, this is what it costs. Straight up. And I, I respect anybody that's willing to say, oh, no, nah, I, don't, I don't have that kind of money right now. Cool. Somebody okay, else cool. will. Yeah. But if you respect the, the grind and, you know, the effort and, you know, the art that I'm putting out there, you know, you'll definitely support. So this is what I'm going to tell people. Mm-hmm. Some things we can't afford. Right. Real talk. Right now, I want that Sahara Jeep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want that triple black Sahara Jeep with them chrome things on. I can't afford it right now. Yeah. But sometimes when you, you look at what you really want, you want top quality. And hold, let, let me let me let me retract. Top quality is good. Right. But sometimes it ain't about the top, top quality. Sometimes it's about the person that you're dealing with. That's what I want y'all to understand. You can go get the most expensive whatever in the world. But who you dealing with? Who you helping prosper? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We've learned that through everything we're going through right now. We're the same thing. You're like, oh, wow. 
so and so don't like this kind of, these kind of people. I'm just, I've been buying and supporting this person since I was a teenager. And I ain't trying to mess up nobody's business. Papa John's? Oh, y'all don't. Let me get them call. Hungry, hi, hi, hungry Howie's real quick. <laughs> they might not have the, the cachet, but, you know, they supported, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or at least pretend to support. Yeah. So, that's what I want people to understand. Like, you ain't got to go to, you know, and I, I'm just throwing some of Mark Anthony photos. Holla E and J. He's more solid. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no trying to be. I know you solid. <laughs> that ain't even a, you know what I'm saying? That ain't even a question. It's always more, more, you know. Yeah. What do young boys say? On oh, my mama. <laughs> on oh, oh, God. <laughs> boy, y'all young boys lit, man. I'm a young boy, too. I'm young. I'm still young. On oh, my mama. On oh, God. <laughs> Straight up. Well, man, I ain't going to take too much of your time, man. Anything else you want to let the people know? Uh-huh. And the website is enjphotography.com. And I'm sure I'm not trying to make y'all straight. No, straight up. You know how we, yeah, 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 yeah. Straight up. So, uh, before we get out of here, man, straight up, before we get out of here, uh, your photography is like, that's I, I, just what I've known. I've seen that you put all your effort into that. So just explain real quick to anybody to put they all their effort, all their marbles into one basket, and it don't work out. How should their mindset be? Keep going. Straight up. Love it. Hunt. Keep, going, <laughs> Keep hunting. Rome was not built in the day. And if you do not get something the first time, try again. Straight up. Like, that's the best advice I can give anybody. Like, do not give up. Keep going. And, I mean, it's going to be trials and tribulations along the way. I I went through it in my photography business. And, you know, I'm just learning from it and elevated ever since. Straight up. And still learning to this day. You got to be a student of the game at all costs. Mm. Like, even if you... And this is not for photography, but for any business, period. I don't think, you know, you reach your peak even when you make a million dollars. Mm. You know what I'm saying? There's always room to make another million dollars. Or there's always room to perfect <laughs> those gray areas that you, you have. You feel me? Man, hey. Yeah, man. <laughs> don't, don't stop, man. Mindset that will make a comeback. Hey. Y'all, hey. Y'all heard these young boys spit that game, man. <laughs> Y'all heard that young boy spit that wisdom. Oh my gosh. Man, the boy a gangster. Straight up, man. Hey, so look. This episode sponsored by Designs by Shine. High learning. You know what I'm saying? This is this is what these folks doing out here, man. So, hey, I want y'all to show E and J photos some love. And then we're going to see higher learning soon. Real soon. We're going to see designs by Shine soon. And then we're going to keep grinding. So, hey, anything else? Hello, y'all. That's it. That's it. So, hey, we're about to go pop the champagne. I'm about to go find myself in an entanglement. <laughs> Me and Babe about to get into the entanglement real quick. <laughs> I got to find Babe. We got to go get into the entanglement, all right? So we're going to do this entanglement thing real quick. But nah, real talk, it's all about NJ Photos. And um, y'all going to holler at my folk, man. We're going to the top. We'll see y'all. I holler.